Okay, so your underlying energy is the Seven of Pentacles. Underneath that is the Two of Wands. You're trying to figure out whether or not it's worth the effort and the time to go ahead and do something. I feel like you went in down a direction that you felt was the best for you, but now you're like, I don't know if this is actually the right direction for me, actually. Uh, is it really? Is it really? Because mm. this, this is double questioning your situation, really. Trying to figure out whether or not this is exactly... If this is actually something you really want to do, if this is actually something go, getting towards something that you've been um, or going towards something that you actually want, because you've been in a lot of work, you've come a long way. Seven of Pentacles shows that, and I feel like it does. It is showing small bits of results, but none that either are that may be enough to convince you, or like just enough to slightly convince you to continue to move forward. Now the heart of your reading of the Four of Wands, so you guys have something very similar to the to Aries, which is getting to a place of stability, you know, some sort of moving up in a um, place of commitments and relationships. And I feel like that, you know, that's the challenge, trying to get there, trying to get to a place where you can feel more comfortable to expand. Um, but the thing is, it's crossing is the Four of Cups. So you kind of feel apathetic. You're not really feeling feeling the situation. You're like you're not. You feel stuck mostly. I feel like you got the same situation hitting you over and over again, and it's about you know making a decision about what you're going to do, right? But more so, it's like not seeing something from. It's not seeing a, a new opportunity available because you've been looking at the situation. You're literally looking at what you've got. We're looking at all you can see. When maybe the situation is asking you to shift your focus from away from the same old, same old, right? And now how do you do that? Well, don't focus so much on what you have to deal with. Don't, you know, focus on, you know, focus on yourself or perhaps, you know, ex you know, be open to new opportunities and new, new ideas. Because in the past here, they have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups indicates multiple options, several different things to choose from, but they all seem really good, but you don't know if they necessarily lead to anything lucrative. Now, this is fantasy. This is also dreams. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may have been in a very, um, you had, maybe you had a little bit more fun, or you maybe had a lot more options presented to you. And they, those were great. And then, but now you have the Hermit. So you kind of taken some type of time back, some t taking a step back. Why? Why? Why are you taking a step back? Well, your external energy is showing the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, rather. So this is talking about you guys feeling burdened with responsibilities and tasks, and you're having to take time up, time up to yourself to figure out whether or not this is something. Maybe this is a burden that you're ready to take, you know, put down. Like you're not sure if you're ready to do any of that, or not necessarily ready to do any of that, or wanting to rather. Because the Hermit talks about looking within. Looking within, you know. Finding with the answers within it's a very soul searching card. It's very spiritual. And I feel like you guys are doing that now. But that's the thing. I feel like that four of cups with this with the hermit, it's like it's perpetuating the consist the consistent same old, same old. The four of cups is like same old, same old. You feel stuck. You don't have a lot of options. You only have to work with three cups that are the same that have shown no interest. But then you have the page, the Knight of Swords in the future, so you may get aggressive. You know what I mean? You may get really aggressive because you don't like being stuck. You don't like being trapped. You don't like feeling like you don't have any options. And I feel like you make an option. For some of you guys, the Four of Cups is that you guys have been settling with the three, those those Four of Cups or those three cups that you're staring at because you don't really feel like you have any other options. But I feel like you guys are fixed signs and you write, your opposite sign is Aquarius. And what do they do all the time if they don't feel like they have any options? They'll make an option. And I feel like that's the thing. The Hermit is like, almost like you guys are trying to figure out, well, if this is going to be the same old thing, I think I'm going to have to make an option. I'm going to have to make an option to get out of this. And that's what I'm kind of getting a sense of. You guys are like ready to kind of like purge and get through because you you really do want to get to a place where you're ready to expand. Or you maybe you have. You are. You're in a stable spot. You're ready to expand, but you don't know how to. You don't know what you want to do as far as exp expansion, or maybe just things have just been boring or someone's rejected you, but somebody's been putting you on hold, you've been waiting, and maybe you're tired of waiting now and you're ready to just make, make um, you're ready to make something happen in the future, like you're ready to cut some throats, you know, ready to do some things that you want to do and stop waiting on the whole world to do, do it for you. Which is very well, very fair. But the thing is with the future, is your goal and ambition is the five of cups. 
Very interesting card to have in your goal and ambition because this is what you aspire to be. Perhaps you want to get over the fact that these three cups don't exist anymore. Maybe the three cups that you've been looking at for a long time, maybe this is that something that's gone, something that's not there. And the reason why you keep looking at them is because you're trying to figure out a way to get those cups back or return to that certain feeling that you had been when you had the three cups in the first place. But I think it was short lived, it died out. And that's why you're looking within yourself. You've attracted because you don't feel that sense of excitement, that happiness, that celebration anymore. And it's like, where is it? Like, I'm supposed to be happy. I'm supposed to be excited. I'm supposed to be great. And I feel like you just like, you, you instead you're bored. You don't have anything going on. You're stuck. You're just feeling like you're, you're emotionally finished with the situation. Like, you're just feeling that hell no situation. You're like, we have to cut some motherfuckers up. I swear. The Five of Cups. It's showing that you may want to overcome this feeling of that, even though you're focusing on the three cups that you may have, you know, that you may have lost. You want to be able to shift your focus to the new possibilities, to new things, to new, to a new adventure, to feeling something differently. But it returns to the relationship, two cups. It returns to the connection that you have with this person. If you're not feeling that sense of connection, spend time together. Focus on what used to be, because if you focus too much on what used to be then you're going to still be stuck. And I feel like that's the situation. Don't focus on what used to be. Because even from the four, he was looking at what used to be. He had the three cups already, but he's still like, I want it back. I want to, how do I make this happy again? How do I, how do I get the band get back together? Maybe somebody at the end of the band got, you know, doesn't want to be a part of the band anymore. And that's sad. But you still have participants and you still have things that you got, you know, that you want going on for you in a happy way that doesn't mean just because something's gone just something that's not working or something's not in your favor doesn't mean you can't have that party leo it just means that you may have to make another option that means that you may have to focus your you shift your focus on two cups and make something work with those okay now again i already talked about the external energy which is the ten of wands the ten, the hermit ten of wands it's very similar to seven seven of pentacles in the external energy we talked about really taking a look at the things that are overburdening that are a lot of work a lot of effort and i feel like you guys have just been like you know you guys have just been you know just swamped with stuff swamped with dealing with things and i feel like you just needed that getaway to step away to really think about things to really connect with yourself because here in your outcome, you have the Eight of Cups. You end up walking away. You end up saying, you know what? Forget it. I'm done. This is not me. You're empty. You know, it's like you're done. You're emotionally drained. You're not angry, though. Remember. The Eight of Cups is not an angry card. This person is not angry. As a matter of fact, this person looks more confused than anything. But <laughs> it's this is a card itself. But the thing is, it's like this is not an angry card. You just know what you don't want. You know what it is that you know what it is that you do not feel like belongs to you with you know anything. Like I feel like whatever it is that's keeping you stuck at this moment, whatever it's, it is that's you know making you feel like. You have to deal with this, these options and these options alone, or you're trying to rekindle some sort of feelings from the past. That's showing that, you know what, there's no possible way that you can do that. You have to find a new way. You have to go after a new way of making yourself happy. And that's a hard thing in itself, but trust me, you're going to find your own way. It may be a little aggressive, but you're going to find your own way in doing that. And it's going to be bigger and better than it ever has been. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at, yeah. Your wisdom of the oracle is showing blessed. You are blessed. You, well, it's, the situation is really hard to see, right? Because right now, you don't see how this is a blessing at all. And I think it's the best part to realize is that you are always blessed. It's never that when you have a bad time or when you have a good time, you're blessed. Every moment, every waking moment of your life, you are blessed. And that means that you have the capability in your life to change the circumstances if you don't want them to be you have a lot of things that are in your favor if you don't want them to be that's why you're always blessed you have the free will to do whatever you want to do and then in a way that's but that's a blessing you have the free will to do what you want to not do what you want but even the steps that you are willing to take or wanting to take those are blessed too because they want you to be the best version of yourself the universe wants you to be the best version of yourself. God wants you to be the best version of yourself. You know? A new day is dawning. And this is the first card of the of the, of the deck. You know, it's interesting. I don't normally see the first two cards of the Wisdom of the Oracle, Yin and Yang. 
or yang and yin. Uh, which is the first card is yang, second card is yin. I don't know if typically see those all the time. So I like to, I really get amped up when I see the first and second cards because when you shuffle them, it's very interesting how they don't ever come out. They have other cards that have similar meanings to them, but never the raw essence of those cards really come up. But it's always, but the messenger, the oracle, they always have the, like the first one I've pulled like three, four times recently. And it's like, that's interesting because this card comes up a lot often. It made me think about that. But anyway, not really important. New day, a new day is dawning. That means that you have a new world, a new life, a new opportunity, a new beginning, more so than anything that you have, that you can have. It's yours to have it. But it takes time. But it needs you, it's all about shifting your focus from what you don't have. If you can't get that excitement no more, you can't get that excitement no more. It doesn't mean that it's the end of a relationship if you don't feel that sort of excitement though. It just means that there may have to be this growth to this, this growth. Just because something dies down a little bit doesn't mean it's going to, you know, it's going to stay that way and dead. Now, stay, taking a step back and looking within yourself, that's probably a good thing to do because you're healing. Because you're looking within yourself, you've connected with yourself and all that goodness. You're taking time away from the person that you no longer feel very excited about being with. But the thing is, is you still love this person and still have attachment to this individual. And I feel like that's this, that's great. Now, if they've been giving you a hard time, if you've been feeling like you've been doing a lot more work in the relationship that you feel you should, you know, you should, then yeah, that makes sense why you need to take a step, set, a set, a, excuse me, it explains why you need to take a step back to figure out whether or not this is something you really want to continue to pursue, whether or not continue you want to work on, right? Whether or not this is something that you actually want to do. Now, I still don't see no breakup in the future. The Knight of Swords can indicate here that you may end up cutting some people, but cutting them with your words more so than anything. Like, you know what? This is not for me. I don't want to be no slave, et cetera, et cetera. You know what? You may have to do that. You may have to just say, you know, this isn't working for me, you know? But be up, be open to options. Be open to um, solutions, of course. But I feel like you don't have to hide or you don't have to retreat. You may have to just say what it is that you feel. And I can understand though if the hermit card for you guys is like, hey, but I need to figure out what I feel first before I say it. Totally acceptable. So feeling out what it is that you feel, knowing what you feel, and then communicating that to somebody, that's good. I feel like that's a good idea, a good approach, Leo. I feel, I feel, I really feel that way. But you have a new day is dawning. First card, or a new day dawns. That means that there is a new, there's a new beginning on the horizon. Is something coming, you know, coming on, you know what I mean? And it starts by recognizing where you're blessed, which is by being aware of your abilities, being aware of your freedoms, being aware of who you are, just as being yourself is a gift. But I feel like that's the thing to remember. No matter what direction you choose, no matter what you decide to do, it's blessed. 